This video will show how to compare your offline project that is about to be downloaded to the previously downloaded project during the download process. To use the download comparison feature, we first need to enable the ability to create an image of the current project for later comparison. We can create that initial image and finally use the comparison feature when desired. Let's enable the ability to create an image during download. From any chart, click the Options menu, select Customize, then select Compile Download. The Compile Download window opens. Click the checkbox labeled Generate Image of Downloaded Program for Comparison. Notice that in this example, Automation License Management opens a prompt stating that it could not find a valid license for Version Cross Manager, also known as VXM. This is because VXM is required in order to use this feature. Also notice that you're given the opportunity to activate the PCS7 trial license. This trial license should be reserved as an emergency license in the event of a failed or corrupt license. You need to install a proper VXM license on the engineering station. After selecting Generate Image of Downloaded Program for Comparison, click OK. Let's create our initial download image. Open the download window, and in our example, We'll click the CPU menu from a chart and select Download. From the Download window, you can select Entire Program or Changes Only. Click OK to start the download. The program is downloaded normally, then passes control to VXM after the download is complete. Now VXM starts creating an XML image of the project that was just successfully downloaded. Close the Logs window. Now let's compare our image and current offline project. First, let's make a simple change so we can see how it is shown. In our example, change the external set point default value by right-clicking the SP underscore EXT input parameter of the PID control block of our chart. Then select Object Properties. Because this is an APL structure tag, we'll now select Value. Then select the Properties button. From the Value Properties window, change the value in the value field to 40.00. Click OK to accept the change and close the windows. Close the structure properties. And now compile the charts to include this change. Close the compiler log. Now let's start another download. This time, however, the Show Changes button is available. If you click this button, the XML file created during the last successful download is loaded into Version Cross Manager. Next, the current offline project is loaded. Into Version Cross Manager. Then the two projects are compared to find any differences between the two. When the read and compare is complete, Version Cross Manager opens. At the top, the path to current offline project is shown as A in blue. Just below is the path to the XML file, shown as B in green. 
On the left is the hierarchy window where the node categories are displayed in a tree structure, shown as block types, charts, global variables, and run sequence. On the right is the detail window where the contents of the selected item in the hierarchy window are displayed. Shown is the result of selecting the top level charts on the left. If any differences are detected, the entire hierarchy tree will be bold. In this example, charts is bold. Expand the charts tree and scroll down the list of charts until we find the bold chart TICA 315. Continued expansion will show the PID control block and the parameter SP underscore EXT. And finally, value that we changed in this example. Selecting value will show the detail on the right and point out the difference in red text. A column shows the value 40.0 that we just changed in this example project. The B column shows the value 23.0 that was previously downloaded to the real CPU. As you can see, any change since the last download can be identified, meaning you don't have to download an unknown configuration change no matter who or when it was done. In addition to the default standard view, you can also select the table view and only differences filter at the bottom. When done reviewing changes, click the close button. You can now complete the download knowing exactly what changes have been made.